Hello, hi guys, it's Ian Am here and we're going to be taking a look at getting your notifications from your smartphone onto your computer if you're working on it. So head over to the Play Store and download a completely free application called Pushbullet SMS on PC and this will get all your notifications that appear on your smartphone but on your computer. It saves you having to glance down and use your smartphone if you're already on your computer. So download it, open it up and I'm going to sign in here with my Google account. There we go, that's just signing in here and we get this setup. It said, see your phone's notifications on your computer. Isn't that what I just said? So I'm going to hit enable down here and here we go. So we're going to set the notifications from push bullet. You get a warning, say OK to this and phone calls. So it says to mirror your incoming calls, push bullet needs to access your phone and contacts, which is fine because it's going to be showing notifications from those contacts on your computer. So we hit allow to make phone calls as well. And we're going to hit enable for to see text from your computer or tablet. So let's hit allow here and it says you're almost done. So we've got to go over to the website now to finish the setup on our computer. So we're going to hit done here. First off, you need to head to pushbullet.com. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box if you want, but it's literally that pushbullet.com. And from here, as you can see, you can get your phone's notifications on your PC or any tablet. So again, you can sign in with your Google account if you wish, but I'm going to go straight to applications and you can download the companion application for the device that you want to receive those notifications on. So as I say, Android tablets, iPhones or iPads even, you got Chromebooks, any other browser if you just want the notification to appear within the browser, but I want mine to appear anywhere within my computer. So I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows, download the installer really quickly. I'm going to hit open when done and it should install this fairly quickly as well. So here we go. We're going to hit run to install. We get a little window up here. So I'm going to hit next, next, standard installation, create a desktop icon here as well and hit install. I'll just bring into shot what it's just placed on my desktop and I'm gonna hit launch push bullet and we'll hit finish. And here we go. So again, I'm gonna sign in with my Google account and that's launched within the browser here as well. So I'm gonna get rid of the browser because this application does the same job. So as you can see, you can create and access remote files if you've moved away from your computer and access those if you need them from your smartphone. But I'm interested in the notifications and any notifications that you can receive on the computer and then reply back to. So again, I've got no friends under people, but uh, if we head on over into devices, you can see all the devices that are currently connected. You got Chrome, my computer and the Galaxy S7 Edge. So under following, I quite like this to be honest because there's some news groups that you have access to if you subscribe to them. So any applications or articles that are published to those news groups, you get notified and you can read those within this application. It's a little cool, I like that. So under SMS, obviously this is all the SMS uh, text messages that I've received on my Galaxy S7 on this application, which is pretty cool. I can click and see the full notification thread and I can also reply back here as well. So as you can see, Google, Google notifications, I can reply back if I want just on my keyboard, hit hello. I don't think this is gonna work because this is a one way type of conversation with Google, but hey ho, you can see how it work with an actual real person. Uh, so if we go to notifications here, I've got currently no notifications at all on my device, so hence this is why it's empty. And under settings, you can fine tune some of the sounds that are played on your computer and so forth. If we go back to SMS now, if I wanted to create a new text message, so it'd be sent from my device, uh, I beg your pardon, from my computer rather than uh, my smartphone, because uh, for example, if I didn't want to touch it or just leave it charging on my desk, you can see there's the device it's gonna send it from. And if I click to, it'll bring up all the contacts within my phone. So absolutely everybody and just pick a contact and just hit hello and it away it goes. That's how simple 
it is. A quick test and as you can see, I'm getting some WhatsApp messages back here. So if I hit reply back to the first one that I've got here and go, thanks for replying. Oh, if I can even spell. <laughs> replying, hit enter and away it goes. I can even dismiss them as you can see if I don't want to be disturbed by them even from my desktop. And it's business as usual back on the smartphone here in WhatsApp. Pretty much any notifications that you get on your smartphone will appear on your computer. Saves you having to fiddle around on your smartphone but I'm liking Push Bullet so far. What do you think or do you use something different? As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comments section down below. Please like, subscribe, and tag along on social media at Inam Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And I'll see you next time.